fruit cocktail. You probably have a can of this up in your cabinet now. And you probably grew up with it too, but you probably weren't that excited to see it as a dessert item. Everyone liked the cherries, but did you know you can disguise this in a cake and it makes it look real fancy? I'm going to show you how to make my fruit cocktail cake up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. She's bringing the Trailer Park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. to make my fruit cocktail cake. One and a half cups of sugar. Two cups flour. Half teaspoon baking soda. Half teaspoon salt. One can fruit cocktail. We're going to use the regular kind today, but you can use a fancy kind if you want. Two eggs. Half cup brown sugar. And then we need a half cup Welcome back. You know, fruit cocktail doesn't have to be scary. You can disguise it in a nice cake that you can fix for your next coffee party or something to take to work. All you need is a can of fruit cocktail, which I know you've got up in your cabinet up there. But anyway, you can use a mixer, uh, um, one of those hand mixers, or uh, today I'm using my stand mixer. And you're going to start with two cups of all-purpose flour. And I use the unbleached kind because they say the others uh, have, like, chemicals in there. I don't know, but... Maybe less chemicals is better. I don't know. I read the news and that's what they say. But two cups of flour. Then one and a half cups of just regular sugar. So we'll go ahead and put that. One cup and a half cup right on in there. There we go. And we need a half teaspoon of baking soda. There we go. Where is there we go. Half teaspoon of baking soda goes right on in there. And a half teaspoon of salt. There we go. And we're just going to turn on the mixer just a little bit to mix that on up a little bit. Whoa! It was charged up today. There we go. Mix that around. You can use a spatula to give that a good mix around. There we go. Now, we're going to add just the one can. This is the 15.25 regular size of fruit cocktail. I bet you can use the um, fancy kind like the mango or something like that. But today this is just the everyday heavy syrup um, can grape with, you know, sometimes they have that one with extra cherries. That would be nice. And we'll dump that on in there. And we need to add a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, which really gives that a little zing to it. There we go. Dump that on in there and all over my counter, too, apparently. But it smells good. Um, let's see here. 
put this here in the bowl. Mix it around. Now, we need to add two eggs. One egg. Two eggs. There we go. And just use your spatula to give that a good stir in there too. Now, I have preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And this is going to uh, bake for about, um, about 40 minutes. And it's going to be great hot because this has actually a glaze. We're not going to do an icing. It's more of a glaze today. Alright, this is mixed up really well. And we need a 9 by, well it's 12 or 13 um, baking pan. It's like a cake pan. And spray that down with some butter spray or oil that down, whatever you can do to that so it doesn't stick. And um, we're going to get our mixture and we're going to pour that into our baking pan. Let's see if I make a mess. There we go. There we go. Alright. We're going to just take our mixture here and just dump that on in there. Just like that. Spread that on out. Now, in another bowl, we're going to go ahead and put a half cup of the crushed pecans and a half cup of the brown sugar there we go and a half cup of the coconut there we go and we're gonna shake this up let me just grab a top there we go whoops helps if I seal it first there we go. Alright. Now we're going to just sprinkle this right up on top of our fruit cake. Well, it's a, well, actually, it is a fruit cake, really. A fruit cocktail fruit cake. I guess that works. And if you don't like nuts or coconut, I guess you could leave that out, but. You'll be missing something, and now we're going to pop this into our oven for about 40 minutes, and it's going to bake, um, and it's going to look real nice. Don't let it burn, and we're going to make a glaze here in just a moment, and we're going to pour that over the hot cake once it comes out of the oven, and it really makes it nice. So let's pop it in our 350 degree oven. There we go and set your timer. I'll show you how to make that glaze up next. For the glaze, you'll need a pan, a half teaspoon of almond extract, a half stick of butter, a half a cup of sugar, and a half cup of milk. Put that all in the pan, let it simmer for three minutes, then pour on top of the hot cake out of the oven. And there you have it, my Trailer Park Fruit Cocktail Cake. This is a great recipe. I mean, we used a 50 cent can of fruit cocktail in this cake, and I see the coconut up on top, and it got all toasted, and so did the pecans, and you know, it's a nice dense cake, and it's got that kind of glaze that kind of soaks on in there, and I'm looking at it, and I really can't tell that there's fruit cocktail in there, and it 
smells so good and I just can't wait to try it. Mmm. I taste the brown sugar and the coconut and the pecans and the fruit is nice. It tastes rather fancy to be honest with you. I mean Really, I mean, it was cheap ingredients we had in the cabinet, and I know you do too. Wow, this would be great for a coffee party or something to take to work. Wow, I hope you get a chance to make my fruit cocktail cake, and if you do, send me pictures to JolenSugarBaker at gmail.com. Add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker there. And I'm on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe too because there's more trailer park cooking shows just right around the corner. I love you all and I hope to see you all back real soon. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride bye, in the double wide. Visit my store at jolensugarbaker.com.